I am the A, Senior IT Business Analyst with Mecklenburg County IST. Although my badge says Park and Recreation, I'm no longer with Park and Recreation, but I still support them. Um, I officially got traded, is what I, I was going to go as Steve Smith for Halloween and it, it did work out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, it's actually a, a great move. I'm, I'm excited to be that and I do still live at Park and Rec and all of that. So, with Mecklenburg, the great state of Mecklenburg. You guys are all here because of two things. One, you are fortunate enough to be a first time attendee. And two, I know that you are were really excited to hear this presentation. Did you want to know about it? Oh, yes, absolutely. And that's probably the main driver. I think, you know, I have people coming here, been here 10 years, but they just want to come for this presentation because it's at 8.30 in the morning, first up, and everybody's still drinking coffee and all that good stuff. So um, I've been with Nickel Jesa probably I want to say maybe four years, which is pretty short. We got some folks in here who've been in here a lot longer than that, and you're going to hear from them. But one of the things that we're going to do in this presentation is we are not going to sit down. You are not going to sit here and listen to me. I used to go through all these slides and, and blah, 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 and we were founded in 1900, and we were, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I decided to change it up. So first thing we're going to do is introductions. Now, what I would like for you to do is to go to the back table, grab a pad and a pen, find somebody you do not know, and answer these questions. Okay? And then you are going to actually introduce that person. Okay? So go. Get your pad and pen. Find somebody you don't know. And answer the Thank questions. <laughs> I know it's a lot to ask. Thank you. Yeah, all these, all these folks around here. I got somebody. They count too. Everybody got somebody? Everybody have a a uh, a friend? Right. Sure. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Emphasis on old. 
Which one did you like the most? I like I like to say I started Which is interesting because I'm not willing to get it. I just enjoy it. I like music. I love music. All right, very good. Nice meeting you. So I have nothing to say. Yeah, if you want, once you have all the information, I wonder why I'm standing over your shoulder. I'm used to people standing over my shoulder on my team. What's your name? Yeah. I work for the uh, city of Salisbury. How long have you been there? About two years now. I did a six-month contract. And on two All right, you got about one minute. A big Salisbury. Yeah, if you're done, go ahead and sit down with your new friends. How did you sit down? Two. Including yourself. That's why I That's why I did it. You brought that thing from up there. Alright, so so really Really the name of this course is how to upset techie people by making them talk to other people and then sit in a different seat. Yes. So we're done. Alright, what we're gonna do now, and I just need a group to volunteer, you are going to inter introduce the person that you um that you interviewed. Uh, Okay, you can go first. She doesn't want to sit by me. <laughs> well, no, you, you, I didn't say you could move away from them. You still have to sit with them because there's more fun to come. Do we have to stand up? Yes, you do have to stand up. <laughs> the more uncomfortable, the better. Do we have to move up first? That's okay. I'm you. asking the questions I knew you were going to already answer. All right, now look, this is a true business analyst. <laughs> what, 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 what? what, what, what? <laughs> It's just like, get up here now. Okay, this is Travis. He works with Wayne County Public Schools as a system engineer. Um, he was introduced to Nickel Giza when he was in the community school, working with community schools, and um, by a system administrator. Okay. Um, he lives in Pikeville, which I didn't know where that was until today. Um, some interesting facts is he has a four-year-old son they like to play plants versus zombies and make play to art. And he's originally from West Virginia. All right. Oh. This is Sarah Fisher. She's from Mecklenburg County. She's the IT analyst and she works with code enforcement, brand, land review, field inspectors, uh, commercial and residential. And she was introduced to Nickel Jesus through her boss. And an interesting fact about her, she just graduated from Pfeiffer to spell and uh, obtain her BS and MIS in business administration. All right. All right, who's next? All right, I love volunteers. All right, this is uh, my name is Scott. He's from the County Cary. He's a senior manager, so he's basically the man. And uh, he heard about Nickel Giza from co workers. And an interesting fact about him, he moved down here from uh, from Maine. Okay. And this is Brad Hartman. He is a network engineer from the city of Gastonia. Uh, he learned from, about Nickel Jesus from his coworkers also. Uh, and he used to work in Cary. Yep. Imagine that. All right. Best friend Tim, Tim Flora. He's from Asheville, Buncombe County, which I had no idea where that was. Show my ignorance in North Carolina. He's the IT director. Fairly good sized shop, a 68 with a $10 million budget, which makes ours look awfully small. He's been in IT less than a year, and he heard of Nickel Jesus through 
the finance organization he came out of finance. So naturally there's a statewide finance organization. So you sort would have to suspect that if there's one for finance, there has to be one for IT. Yeah. <laughs> yes. so, and interesting fact is he's not technical, he's been in a T less than a year, which I thought was That is very interesting. This is my new friend Richard Wilson. He's from Orange County. He's the application manager there. Applications manager there. Uh, he has been there less than ten weeks. So he won the backpack for. Uh, yeah. 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 Thank you. Uh, he, it's interesting because he comes from. This is you're new to go. Right? He came from just most recently from the AICPA, which is interesting, which is an organization that I was a member of, so court and consulting. And an interesting fact is he plays swing band, in a swing band. What, what is Quincy? Trombone. Awesome. All right. with Forsyth County. He heard about Nicole Jesus through a friend who lived, who came to see him in Wilmington during the Wilmington conferences. And he said, if you ever get into government, you must join Nicole Jesus. Well, Broadus just joined Nicole Jesus. He just joined the county oh, a year ago, right? And he immediately came to our conference. Did, he join, did you join just so you could come here? I was told this is the best part in town. Okay, that's good. He just <laughs> came for the big prizes. <laughs> <laughs> His friend actually didn't tell him about the conference, he told him about the prizes, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, and his interesting fact is he has twin girls who are smarter than he is. That's what they tell me. And they're eight. Right. That's it. And this young lady is Felina Harris. She's the IT customer relationship manager from Mecklenburg County. So she makes sure that everyone is happy. Um, she heard about Nickel Jesus through Sandy Goodwin. <laughs> and um, she has two sons, 
ages four and seven, who I'll have to be on the lookout for. When they go. <laughs> and uh, I'm a Panthers fan, but she says she's a diehard Redskins fan, but we're going to make this work back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I had a, we, we had, when Selena worked with me, we had a, an adjoining door, and I, I had to shut it. <laughs> <laughs> the Redskins missed it. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Brandon. Chowan County IT director, um, and going along with you, I had no idea where Chowan County was, so I had to ask. It's uh, near Edenton, North Carolina, out on the coast. Um, so, <laughs> he basically, he answered the question of where do you work and what do you do with the answer of everything. Uh, being the IT director, and most of us in IT probably know that that's about the case anywhere, you know, uh, IT, toilets, plumbing, you know, restocking the bath, whatever you need to do. Uh, so, um, the, uh, the way that he found out about Nickel Jesus was turnover from a previous uh, person there, basically the person that he replaced, uh, introduced him to it. And uh, he, uh, even though he's not a, a, a people person and a, uh, an in front of people person, he loves karaoke. Oh, oh boy, you just have one. Video cameras will be there. Karaoke, you know what he said? This is Brandon Smith, he's from Mecklenburg County. He's a customer experience consultant, so he makes sure that the customer is happy with the products, the software products that we deliver for them. He started that just yesterday. He was drafted into the Nickel Jesus by Felina because he needed, uh, they needed a presenter. So he's coming in on <laughs> a week not, ago. <laughs> not only new to Nickel Jesus, but also presenting at Nickel Jesus, so that's quite an accomplishment. He's an IT guy by day and a firearms instructor by night. He owns his own business uh, with firearms and <clears throat> and and I'm just going to throw this out there too because Brandon showed me this. His wife got him a really cool uh, T-shirt. It has two pictures of, of you know like silhouettes of women, and one of them is like the one you see on the, like the bathroom door. This is your wife. The other one is is a lady with a pistol like this and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and she is a better shot than I am. <laughs> All right, and last but certainly not least. with the city of Brimble. I've already given him my condolences for having to work with Rex Wilder. <laughs> he is a support specialist there, which means he does a little of everything. Uh, help desk and whatever anybody needs him to do. I think your words were front work. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we know. So we asked Chris, I asked Chris how we found out about Nickel GC. He said all of his co-workers asked him to come or told him to come. Ball and told him. Yeah. Or it was. The interesting thing about Chris and what makes me want to stick near him is that he has two certificates in two different martial arts. Ooh. So uh, he's going to be my bodyguard and we've got a bodybuilder too. So. <laughs> yeah. we, are, we are safe. This Not to mention coming. Brandon and his guns. Oh, the guns, <laughs> exactly. This is Leslie Chaney, right? Mm -hmm. She's the IT director for the county of New Haven. New, New Hanover. Hanover. New Hanover. Yeah. Thank you about TV show. So that means I got introduced to a big boss. Uh, the way she found out about the conference was she got a postcard in the mail, and at the time she was the only IT person in Johnston County. And I asked her, you know, what's interesting about it? she said she's a big sports fan, especially college basketball. Now she's getting into um, the NBA. Turned like basketball year round, D League, everything. Ooh. Yeah. Good don't for the D League. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got everybody introduced. Everybody kind of knows everybody. Give yourself a round of applause. That's the best way to do it. Um, now, I need to have nine people on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two of y'all need to come over here. I don't care what two, just two of you just jump up and volunteer and go. So if you don't like the person that you introduced, no. <laughs> that's not even an option. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, like I said before, I used to go um, through all these slides that told you a bunch of, of information, facts, and things about the or organization, and I rethought it this time to, to make it a little bit better. Um, you know, A, it's early in the morning. Uh, B, I want you guys to tell us about the organization. So what we're going to do, how many of you have... Is there access to at least one computer, internet-type device on each side of the room? 
Does somebody have a laptop over there? Or Okay, so we got covered here, mobile phones or something, we covered over here. All right, fire those things up if they're not already on. Now, does, does each team have one of these? Yes. Okay, everybody's got one of these. Feel free to turn the chairs around so you can work as a team because what you're going to do, when I put the next slide up, there's going to be a list of questions. There are several questions. And what your, your um, goal is, and you can use any resource that you have, being other people in the room, we've got some uh, board members in here, committee chairs, uh, you can use the Nickel Cheese uh, uh, website, and I'm not even going to give you the URL because I want you to find that. And you can use this book. All of the answers are in one of those three places, all right? And, uh, and then we're going to go through the questions and see how we did. And the prize is you get to participate in what's on the last slide. <laughs> I'm leaving that wide open. All right, are we ready? You guys, you guys going to... You gonna play? No. All right, let's turn around, get ready. Here are the questions. Go. You got, what is the mission of Nickel Jesus? Who is the president of Nickel Jesus? Name five committees. What is GMIS? -G when was Nickel Jesus founded? What is the relationship between Nickel Jesus and UNC Chapel Hill? What do these companies have in common? Mecklenburg, Wake, Cabarrus, Davidson, and Onslow. What is CPI? And I'll give you a hint there. It's not the security system. Uh, name three awards offered by Nickel Giza. How many symposiums are offered each year? What relationship does Nickel Giza have with this organization? I'll let you figure out what that is. Uh, list three benefits of membership with Nickel Giza. What is the emergency strike team? And how is the best way to get involved? Go. Any resource that you have except me. <laughs> and board, board members are not allowed to <coughs> give them the answer before they try to find it. Oh, Unless it's something that you don't want. <laughs> All right, so we got a few minutes to do that. I was thinking it's so new. Yeah, I was thinking it's so I was going to come and ask you. Oh, God.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm looking on that one right now. What is that for the AC? CPT Uh, 
All right, you got is everybody done? Or do you still need that last 30 seconds? Y'all are done? Is this group done? You still got 20 seconds, I'll let you have it.
Anybody know? School of Government. School of Government is part of the School of Government and who sponsors the CIO school and all that kind of stuff. How many of you, know, I'm just going to take a break for a minute. How many of you know about the CIO school? I heard about it um, Monday, I mean, the first day of the conference, but other than that. There's some information about it in your, um, your uh, book, um, and the best resource is just to go to the, the person who founded it, created it, developed it, all that, and it's now uh, nationwide, it would be Shannon Cuffs. Um, she can tell you anything you want to know. I know that applications are being accepted now for the next school, or they will open in November or something. She's, she's going to give an update on that. Okay, yeah. Lunch today. Yeah, because I've had some people ask me about it. Um, even though you're first timers or you're in this class, or is there anybody that is a graduate of the CIO program? Show of hands. There's a couple of us in here. Okay. Um, Name three awards offered by Nickel Jesus. James S. Cooper Ambassador Award, Giving Spirit, Member Emeritus Award, Distinguished Service. Okay, you will see some of those awards, awards given today. Um, how many symposiums are offered by Nickel Jesus each year? Two. Two, and typically where are they held? Wilmington and the next one being the Right, okay. Um, what relationship does Nickel Jesus have with, first of all, what is LGFCU? Local Government Federal Credit Union. Y'all look so thrilled. Um, <laughs> what's the relationship that we have with them? Um, scholarship. Scholarships. How many of you know about scholarships? What do you know? Yeah, and these two guys are not allowed to answer. Somebody else. What do you know about scholarships in this organization? Well, I found out from Peyton okay. that when you register or you apply, it covers for registration. Okay. And one day, two, two days. There are scholarships available for folks um, whose agencies may not be able to afford to send you. Local government, Federal Credit Union also has a scholarship for the CIO school that you can apply for, um, which is nice because the school itself costs about $2,000, um, which it's worth every penny. And then um, we also have scholarships through Nickel Giza for the CIO school and also for um, attending here. And, it, and all you have to do once you get the, the scholarship is participate. You know, and you'll have a volunteer list. I think Cam was manning the, um, the table. He's, he's got one of the scholarships. So it, it's kind of cool. It's how you learn about the organization. All right. Um, three benefits of membership with Nickel Jesa. Don't everybody answer at once. We do. Listserv networking conferences. Okay, listserv networking conferencing. Sharing of information. Sharing of information. Right. There's, a whole, there, there's so many benefits. Prizes. That's right. That's absolutely one of the, the things. Um, let me stop there for just a second and then we'll answer the last two questions. Um, one thing that, that, that I saw yesterday, now I've been coming for a little while, but here's how the conversation went around my table. You know, I really wish that we could have data connectivity in this building over here for the homeless folks. Um, but IT, big IT is saying we can't do it. Next, comp next person says, well, I'm doing it in this building. We're in the same agency. I'm doing it in this building for XYZ. It is for the public, but how, well, and then the conversation, well, how'd that come about? I just went and called so-and-so and blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, there's a, a, a customer uh, experience manager sitting at the table Typing like this, <laughs> you know, I'm going to get that taken care of right now. <laughs> problem solved. We sat there in a span of five minutes. There was a problem that we thought was not solvable, or we were getting the pushback saying, no, you can't do it. Just by networking, this was within our own organization. So you can imagine how powerful that is when you come somewhere here. I've been around, you know, I... I'm not as, as crazy as I might seem, maybe a little, but I walk around and listen to some of the conversations and, and I hear solutions 
and I hear ideas, and I hear, we did this here, and I hear, you know, why don't you give me a call next week and I'll tell you how we did it in my organization. That alone is worth the price of admission for this. You know, this is the best bang for the buck. This is the best IT organization you will ever be in. Hands down. And they're not paying me to say that. All right. What is the emergency strike team? It's a group that you sign up for. Um, this one, your specialized expertise. And if there's a need in an area, uh, they'll call you up to assist um, with that emergency. Right, it's, it's, it's an a organization made up of ourselves that if, let's say that um, there's a major flood somewhere, you know, and they took off their whole, uh, the whole city, all, well, not the city itself, but all their data and all that, all, everything's gone. This is a group of people, and you can volunteer for it. How do you volunteer? Does anybody know? There's a form on the website that you can, can go and sign up. Um, and they may call you and you get to go help. How cool is that? That's really neat. All right, what's the best, how's the best way to get involved in the organization? Somebody that has not answered. Dallas. Dallas. Participate on a committee. All you got to do is on, fill out on the form that you, you know, on the evaluation form that you want to get involved, you want to be on a certain committee and we'll find a place for you and even beyond that even if you don't want to actually serve on a committee just go up to say Stacy or Leslie or Brad or Mark or Jason or Helena or anybody on the board and, or even just anybody go up and say I want to get involved next year what can I do and I promise you they will find you more than enough to do that's how you meet people and I felt like, like what we needed to do in this class particularly, because this is sort of like an orientation class, you don't need me up here you know, telling you a whole bunch of stuff, because all the information I'm going to tell you is the information that you just found you know, in your books now and in the website. Now what I'm going to challenge you to do is to go to the website, look around on that. There's all kinds of training courses listed on there that you can sign up for. I mean, there is a ton of stuff. There's um, the listserv itself. You know, if you're not a member of the listserv, join me. It doesn't cost anything. Get on the listserv. You can post questions. Um, I've even seen within my own organization somebody from another department post something in the listserv. Next thing I know, I'm calling them. Well, look, this is what we did. It's kind of what we did around the table. Uh, but even other organizations, if you're looking, let's say you want to relocate somewhere in the state, look, there's jobs. You know, so use those resources. That's why, that's why they're there for you. All right, we got one last thing to do. Sam, yeah. uh, can I ask a question? How many of you have registered on the website as a member? Oh, great, okay. So if you haven't, uh, that's kind of a, we, we've, um, Chris and, and Brad have worked really hard to make it a, a, uh, a sort of one-stop shop. You register on the website, you can get on the list and do everything like that. So it's, it's a, a real easy to do and uh, I really encourage you it's a great resource. There's a member building section on the website as well uh, with uh, document repository and things like that. So it's a really valuable resource. You, you can even buy it. cool Nickel Jesus stuff too. Yes. Swag. 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 All right. Now we have one last thing to do. I'm going to ask everybody to stand up, come up here, and spread yourselves out around across the front of the room. I'm not going to make you hug or touch anybody or anything like that. Just, but but face, face the screen. I'm going to give you another resource. Oh, they're looking like, oh, oh Lord help us. You, you're going to need some space. So be sure that you get somewhere you can see the screen. So if you need to, you know, yeah. Well, that, that won't work. That's good. We need to see the screen, too. All right. Um, historically, what we've done in this class is Thursday night is party night. And there's always uh, some dancing involved. What I have found over the course of my life is that a lot of us do not know how to dance or we don't <laughs> care to dance. So what we used to do, I'm just going to tell you how this has evolved. What we used to do is I would teach you a dance during this class. And during the business meeting, you would all get up and do the dancing for the entire um, group. 
You are not going to have to do that today. So Thank everybody you. just. <laughs> However, there will be some dancing tonight at the barn. And it will probably be line dancing. So I'm going to give you some a, a resource that you can use. And we're going to do one of the, the resource videos here. Uh, but but when you, at some point, you'll have a little bit of time, some time, you know, pull it up on your phone, watch this, and I want you to learn a line dance. I don't care which one it is. A line dance for tonight. So that when they play the wobble music or whatever, you are out on that floor. And I'm, I'm memorizing your faces right now. What does memorize is? Because, you, and get, if you need to get all liquored up to do that, that's fine. <laughs> you know, that makes it more enjoyable for the people watching. All right, so here is the resource. Um, and I'm, I'm going to leave that up there at the end so that you can go to this. And let me just show you how great this resource is. If I click on it, well, actually, I think I got it down here being faster. If I go to this resource, uh -oh. 